Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2, the India edition, where you're now witnessing uh, a run of our brand new commuter and the only commuter line technically we have for our train passenger network uh, within India. The first one that we created is technically our high speed train line and what we did is we started in Bangalore and uh, we uh, kind of extended on the left hand, the right hand side, sorry, which implemented a station over in Bellary, which then turned down to Raichur uh, into Bez, which kind of began our first commuter line. Now, believe it or not, that line is actually making profit. It's doing pretty all well, considering it's only just begun. And that is the beginning of how we're going to bring many passengers to the high speed train network. Now, in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to extend the high-speed train network down to its final stop at the Tipito Peninsula of the uh, Indian Peninsula, uh, which is going to then uh, transform our high-speed train line into something more of its final form, which means you'll have more cities to connect to it and more money to make. Now, we're doing a lot of passenger stuff lately, and I do need to focus on more cargo-related stuff because the cargo is going to pay all the bills for the expansions because it's going to get really expensive. So I think after this episode, we'll start taking a little bit more look of what we can do for cargo-related stuff and how we can also start growing the cities based on cargo as well. So until then... Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you do, please smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, I've got two options here. The high-speed train network, which the way it's set up, it kind of city hops, so it jumps a bunch of cities. So it travels further faster with less stops. That's the whole point of the high-speed train line. Now, I've got two options. I can either make it stop in uh, Coimbatore or just go through it and stop down here. So this could be its only stop after Bangalore, or I could do two more. I'm not 100% right now. I'm not 100%. So what I'm going to first do, though, is I'm going to first focus on building the station around here. Now, I want to utilize this area here. It's the least developed section so far. Have you seen the um, the gems already? Um, it don't make much sense pushing it right in because we have no space to develop. I can build streetcars or trams to bring passengers around this area to the train station, which makes a lot more sense. So we're going to pause because this is going to be quite expensive. We're going to delete all of this and then we're going to build a station here. Now, we are going to maybe most likely have to uh, terrain this area. Your boy does love terraining lately. I really do. And... We'll go with the smooth first and to see what this does. Let me up the strength. Um, I don't think you're going to get much out of the uh, smoothie smoothie. Um, let me go flatly, flatty, flatty, flatty. Actually, we can bring up the contours as well, can't we? That's the wrong button. Uh, so you can see what we're pretty much working with. Now, we're going to be going uphill to a certain degree anyway, but if I work with this... And then we'll smoothen it all off. Smooth, 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 smooth. Right, that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. Let's just build the train station. So let's get rid of you now. So building-wise, passenger train station. Now, this can be treated as an end route because we literally are not going to go any further. But however I set it up will also determine where the connections will be and how they will work. Now, I can go super long with this. It doesn't need to be that long. We can go for maybe a 1.6. We'll go, we'll go for a 240, right? We'll go for a 240. Now, if I kind of set it up to connect to there, it does mean that road's going slightly uphill. I might have to rebuild it all. So, I'm not going to go for an end station then. We'll build it like this. Now, if I spin this right round and place you, for example, here. This is going to be a random assessment right now of how I'm going to do it. Place you in there. If I select it, then edit the building. Now, the building styles are getting a little bit different now. As we are slowly progressing through the years. Uh, we'll go for the big boy, which connects up. Nice. Nice grand entrance for that station. Nice and grand. I like it. Not a huge fan of the terrain and how that's now situated itself. 
but um, that w I mean, I could maybe replace. No, oh, I don't want. I don't know. Keep it as it is. I can maybe elevate the roads a little bit more if I really want to fine tune it. Now, from this, we're gonna have to do a couple of things. We need it to be an end route or an end platform, an end station for multiple for multiple train lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up by simply doing multiple lines. So if I do you and then we also need to kind of build a cargo side of it as well. Oh, the auto save slowing me down. Appreciate it, auto save. Appreciate it right now. Right, there we go. We got there in the end. Uh, platform wise, we'll do a cargo on this side. So it will delete some buildings, unfortunately. Tracks, bam, bam. Now back to the platform then. We got to do passenger in the middle. So we're going to do three, three kind of platforms, if that makes sense. It's not really free. It's more than that. But like three lines that can utilize both sides. So I'd have one for the high speed and then two commuter lines. If I choose to do two commuter lines, that's that's entirely up to me. And then, oh no, we got to do uh, passenger. So we'll treat the middle one as our high speed train line. That's how we'll do it. So this is pushing the terrain back, but then it allows us me then to like push the mountain back slightly a little bit as well. So that's all good. All right, build you down and then platforms. So I've got two sides if I want to drop some cargo off. That works out really well. Now, for me, it would be pretty cool if I can build a building at the very end. Now, however I build this, right, that's in the way. So I'm going to have to spend a couple of million right now on deleting all of this to redo how it connects and how this city connects to this city. So let me just quickly configure you and get a big building on that, if it will allow me. Because we're going to make that part of a road that connects in as well. But also, it just gives us more connectivity. I'll build another building just here. And I think doing another building there might slightly be out of the question. So it will give us maximum connectivity, is what I'm trying to say. So terraining then... On the old, that's a smooth tool, which is not a problem, but we're going to push out the old flattening tool. So bring that in. Also bring it a little bit further out, because I'm going to push this mountain slightly back. I mean, it's nice to keep it and all that, but push that slightly back and then smoothing around the edges so it kind of comes down to the station a little bit more naturally. And then smooth in this area. We're going to smooth in that because we want to promote growth on these roads. So smooth in that whole little section there. That becomes usable. Because a lot of the buildings are limited to what they can do based on the terrain around it. So sometimes like flattening or smoothing terrain really helps out. Now, I don't like, I'll be honest with you, how they have to go up to go back down. Seems quite dramatic. But that's the landscape, so I can't really flatten the whole area out because that, that's kind of like slightly cheating in many ways, isn't it? Now, if I brought this road up to there, so that's a nice little solid connection there, um, which could run down to you. You're into there. Now, I am going to have to delete a lot of stuff here just for the sake of being able to project how I want the city to grow. Now, that's going to run down to here, unless I make it go like this. So we have a little bit that runs down there. I don't know if I'll utilize that, but there's there's a possibility I can do so with how the road's connected. Now, I'm going to bend this up and in instead of a straight connection, which does put a lot of pressure on that junction for people to make their way through here. So, is there ways in which we can build tunnels? There is ways in which we can build tunnels. So, again, give me a memento. All right, a nice little tunnel coming through. So, that gives them two options to make it from this side to there, which will take some heat and some pressure off one that junction. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. 
Right, that train station then has good connectivity if I didn't delete all the buildings. <laughs> but it makes it really easy for me right now to link up this area with some type of streetcar, buses, trams, whatever it may be. So last thing I want to do is just smoothen off all of this section here. Because the smoother it is, the more likely the buildings are going to have no issues with their building on what they would then deem as flat a land as possible. There we go. So we should see some rapid growth from this area. Right, there's the station then. There is the station. Now, all I'm really focusing on right now is the high-speed train element of it. So I could implement a train station here, but that would be a commuter line. But how have I implemented the train station there? It could be very similar to how I did it in Bellary, where the high-speed line is connected to it. doesn't stop here. It's just utilized to keep the line straight. But it's going to have to come out to bend around there to go up into Coimbatore, if that's how you pronounce it. How do I pronounce this town no uh, name, guys? Please let me know. And off and up. So I could utilize the two stops here, which would potentially be a commuter line, and use the high-speed train line to kind of situate themselves on their bypassing route. But obviously try and keep them separated. Because the, the right-hand line here would come out, go through uh, Madurai, through Trick, to Pachuri, uh, put a cherry to Nalor, to Baz, and so on and so on. The left hand lane will go through Maduri, maybe into Coimbatore, and then off to wherever that goes. I'm not too sure just yet. I'm not too sure. So both those routes will go through these towns. It's just my high speed train line, I'll have to also navigate it as well. Now, if I was to implement the train station in here, there's again. A glorious little, little setup that I need to then do. So this would work out pretty well. I could get rid of this road and have them hit straight into the mountain. How big of a train station could I drop? If I do the 160, which is not too bad. Or I can make them utilize the underpasses. So if I place, for example, you here. Right. And then the tunnel which would have to be dramatically small four lanes spin it right round there is a collision so i'm gonna obviously gonna have to delete these buildings here i just want to see where or how far i can make this spread 80 and 80 would work so we're okay there it all depends on how i can get the connection for the building now, it doesn't have to be that big. It can be a lot smaller, and I create a horseshoe. Or I could push it out a bit further. So, let's first sort out how this line's going to work. So, platform-wise, if I was utilizing that as the centerpiece, and then two more sets of tracks. No. No. I've got, I know how I'm going to do it now. Right, I know how I'm going to build this station. It's going to be quite over the top, is the best way to pull it. So I'm going to have four set of tracks here. Platform, bam, 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 bam. So this is my high speed line here. And then we have two tracks either side for the two commuter lines that could potentially run through here if I choose to do two commuter lines. The station's pretty much all set up for it. Now, one of these, which I might choose it to be these two here, will be the cargo platforms. It's a very small station, but a very wide station. Right? So they're set up like that. Uh, we then need to do the passenger buildings. I could... Maybe push that to be in a connection, but it's still a... Wait, does that road bend? I think that road slightly bends away. So I might be... I mean, I could actually build it here on the cargo building. On the cargo section, I should say. But we still don't touch fully, do we? 
No. So, delete you, delete you. I wonder if building an extra platform like that, just to bulk it out a little bit. That's enough. That's too much. We're quite close there anyway, so... Oh no, uh, wrong, 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 wrong. I'm just playing around with some... I mean, then again, I do know that this is... That won't connect. See, now I've got that in. I kind of want to stick to that. Oh, that works. Right, let me get rid of this. Let me just delete this. Hang on. Gotta wait 20 minutes right now for autosave. So I know I do do a lot of destruction to the towns. That is a given. Right? But there is good reason behind it. And they will grow back. So we got a different style of building. I mean, I, you could argue I could now get that style of building in. And then we've literally just mimicked this station pretty well. So that connects there, which is great. I've now got to do something very similar here. So if I run this to there, but how far over could we make it touch? Put on the straight run. See, that's not too bad. And then bring it back down a little bit so it kind of comes off a little bit of a dent. That works, and that will give us great satisfaction with running or allowing the town to build around itself. So back to the terrain in then. Smooth all this area now off. Obviously, we're going to have to reconfigure how the road works just there. But let me now just build my underground passes to allow us to enter and exit this town with the train line with a little bit more ease. So that is 80. So if I did that, reduce it down to two. And then did these ones as well. Uh, we get a bit of a bump there, but it allows the underpass pretty well. Smoothing that off. There we go. No issues. So that's a way which, which we can connect to Bangalore. Now, all I want to do here for myself is run the tracks. If I can grab them, the center ones. Directly to, if I can see it, the center one's there. Is that the center one there? No. You are the center one. So that bends up and round. No issues. And that's all it needs to do. That's all it needs to do. I'm going to bring it just there for a second. Because then, from that... It's a bit hard to do it when there's like buildings up above it. Is bring them in there and then you got to do an underground crisscross. And then that's done. So this is all for my high speed train line, by the way. So same here, bam, bam, crisscross. Oh, I can't see this one now. There we go. So the high speed train line aspect of it works really well. I know it's quite a long tunnel, but I like the idea of it going under and then popping out just here after the big drop in the mountain. That's pretty cool. I really do like it. So all I've got to do now then is somehow link this directly to there. Now I can just make it turn underground and go and then we're done. Does it need to go through Maduru? Uh, Maduri? Madurai? I'm not sure how to fully pronounce it. But, but if I'm not making it stop there, I mean, I don't have to uh, see. I've set this up as if it's going to stop here anyway. I don't need to make it stop there as well, because then it's becoming a commuter line. So I might just set it up where it doesn't stop there. So let me now just delete this. Right, and let's just see what it would be like if I implemented 
for spin it right round you in okay but then i'd have to also implement now this is a two here which is because it's an end route that's just how it works so if i implemented you in there so the commuter line just continues to go straight over i mean they could also be that as well now this is heavily relying on making all of this be on the ground which I'm a person who also likes the idea of being able to see the train traffic. So. I don't know. I mean, for now, I can just make it stay underground. But I don't like the idea of it all being underground, though. So it could be a case of where I just don't want this one here. And what I do and what I get set up is... Because that's going to be quite the challenge to build this station here, which I don't want to do now. But I could, in many ways, have a set of train tracks set up like here. And then do the same again. But then do four sets of it. Right? So one is commuter line, one is high-speed train line. And then the one then becomes a... Let me go back a bit more. Right, we'll do it to there. One becomes a tunnel. And the other one continues to go straight. Now, the one that's going to a tunnel is actually going to go underneath here, bend round, and then pop into there. Whereas the one on the left comes from here to go through this town to then end on the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, depending on how I set it up. So, actually, that's a good point. If I do the, if that's going to go under there, that goes bam, bam, and then bam. Yeah, that works out fine. It doesn't need to switch sides at all because it will go, it will switch over above ground. So let me just see how this would kind of work. So there's too much of a slope. Wow, there's too much of a slope. I mean, how much of a slope? Are we talking? Right, there's the snap. That's the snap involved. Oh, and now it's all okay somehow. <laughs> the game is... The game's full of surprises, but I know more than anybody. Sometimes you have to build in smaller segments for it to, you know, work. So that goes to there, which means all i got to do then is a crisscross here. And then we're all good. So, that allows me to not have it all on the ground, but also allow us to have the high-speed train line stop there, not stop here, but then end here. But then have the commuter line also utilize the same set of train tracks. So this would... Of course, bend this way around and then go to there. Now, this to a certain extent will then eventually come off it, which I'm hoping we can go to about there. And then come off. Same with you. And then that space we've got available is enough to run that in. And at both moments here, we can do the crisscrosses. Providing it all goes to plan. So the crisscross is happening in the same area. And off that then runs. That's really nice because we've, we've linked the high-speed train in the middle. The commuter line in the, in the left goes at the same time. High-speed train goes down, bends round, and then pretty much jumps that city to end there. The commuter line goes through that city and ends there. So you've got two different routes that technically go to end in the same place. But the other argument is, you know, one picks up passengers from somewhere else. You know, that's your other argument. So the Bangalore line that comes down here, I was going to make that turn to go that way. Which I'm probably still going to do. So having a commuter line go from there into there, where would that then run? See, that's my next... 
That's my next one. I can also make it run into there and there. I mean, it can also end there. It doesn't have to go through there to end there. There's 101 ways in which I can run these lines. I'm just not 100% sure, but at least I've got that in motion to how it's going to work. So that's pretty much all done to that degree. We're just going to have to set up some signals. So you're there. And... Flip this round because you're going to be there. Um, you're there. And then in the middle. Bam. Bam. And then we'll do one there. And then the last one just down here where it crisscrosses. There. So them signals are now in place. So we can now extend the high speed train line. So I think we should think about doing that then. Um, is this a good radius for the town? Yes. So the high-speed train line, which I'm going to have to add more trains to it. We've got 19 million remaining. So he goes to Hyderabad. Utilize both stops. Um, so Bangalore, Hyderabad. So after Hyderabad, let me get rid of the multi-platform multi thing right now on Bangalore. Because now we can't do it like that. So it's got to be on the left-hand side. So there we go. Coming back down here. Which would be number three on the way back in. And then it will make its way down to uh, Coimbatore. Which it needs to be on number three. So it comes out there on the correct sides. And it makes its way all the way down to here. Which in uh, Tine Tinevely, is that how you pronounce it? Utilize both sides. It just depends on what's free. Then on the way back, it goes to number four, which then goes to Bangalore number four, and then continues. Right, that's situated to do exactly what I need it to do. So the rule is probably going to be a little bit confusion right now with how these lines are going to progress and going to work. But it will do the job. It will do the job. So I can bend around there and then kind of go into that side. Into there. It's just where it then goes from that point. So I don't want it to run the same length for the high-speed train line does and only have one stop different. I could also make it come up, bend to go down this way, or bend that right one, go bend to go this way, which will meet that going in, and then that left one goes up to Kochi. Or I could not use them. I don't have to build a line. It's just there in case I do, but we might also utilize it for the, the cargo routes as well. So, a lot of confusion right now, a lot of destruction, and a lot of now moving parts that we've now implemented. So there will be some slight issues here and there. I've just now spent an absolute fortune, I'm assuming. Yes, big chunk of cash we've now just spent to extend our high-speed train line. We're probably going to need more high-speed trains, even though the high-speed trains technically just don't exist at the moment. This is it. <laughs> this is it. So let's manage this vehicle. Let's see what we could replace it with if I was to go down that road. So all I've got is steam. And we're utilizing, if I base it off of um, top speed, we're using the Russian GV, aren't we? Which does 55. We've got the Russian class PV, which does 64. Now that's the fastest train that we can currently buy at this era in the game. Now, we are ca capped to our speed by what the carriages can do. Now, these carriages here can do 40, which is why that train is doing 40. Uh, these carriages here can do 80. They carry 16. So, we're going to switch over to these carriages. So, steam. But we're going to be limited to 64 because that's what the engine can do. So, passenger. All right. One, two, three, four. We'll do four, yeah? That is adding 25 more passengers to the train. We 
which means the train can now go faster, but I'm also going to duplicate the train. Oh, no depot found. We're also going to duplicate the train as well so we can add a second one onto it. So let's just see what happens when this thing goes back on its journey. I want to see how fast it then goes. It, it should reach the top speed of the carriage. No, sorry, not the carriage. The engine, the steam engine, which is 64. 64, right? Which is 24 kilometers more than the previous one. So it's doing 60. It should cap at 64 and not go any higher. Which it does. Brilliant. I just need to build a depot. <laughs> I just need to build a depot somewhere that we can utilize a connection. Um, right, where's the depot that I built? It's over here, isn't it? But it doesn't really make much sense because we don't have any connectivity anywhere. So, where do I build it? I can just place it randomly here, just like quickly right now, just so I can get a second train on the go. So if I built it, say, just here. Right, and then... Where's the train? Oh, the train's come down to here for the first time. Did it make any money there? I'm not too sure if it made any money at all. But um, the line itself, we managed a vehicle. I reckon we could get away with two trains. Because of the length of the line, I reckon it makes more sense to get a multitude of trains on board. So where are they coming out right now? If I just... If I just stop that train for a second and, and give it time for this to spread out a little bit more... This will work. So I'm loving it. We, we, we're building the spine, or as everybody likes to say in the comment section, the elephant trunk, the trunk line, which I think that's a really good term. I do like that. We've got our trunk line now kind of implemented. And then each of these stations, we bring all the towns around it to the station, bring all the towns around it to the station and so on and so on on this trunk line. It just makes more sense, doesn't it? Right. There's that second train that I've just purchased in the high speed line making its way down. There's the first one making its way back up. So they're about to crisscross one another. And I think we'll then release this one. So I think they're nicely now spaced out. And they are nicely now spaced out. So we'll see how... I mean, there's 178 people waiting here. That's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. So give it a few laps to kind of, you know, cement itself on this route. And then we should see a lot of people then out and about. That's got 49 people waiting at that station already. Where's the train for this one? Here it is right now coming in. How many people has he got on board? 20. So like I said, it'll take a while for them to start making money. But we need to bring more people to these stations for it to make a little bit more sense. So this town took a bit of a hit, but now it's bigger in growth than it was before. Oh, I've just realized I didn't build this road back in, did I? Also, what are they even trying to attempt here with that road? I will never know. It's a shame we couldn't make that a little bit of a tunnel. Let me see what I can do here. So if I drop this down, right, too low. Oh, that works. How short can I make that? Right, I'm trying to find the right angle. Which is hard. It's easier said than done, isn't it? Now, 
Now, what's... I mean, where is this going? That's a big cliff edge, isn't it? I mean, that can run down to there, which is fine. But does that put, does that put a lot of pressure on that junction doing right turns for people to continue to carry on? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like this swoopy as well either. So I think I'm going to get rid of this swoop. And have that... Somehow... Right, there's there's something here I can do. Alright, a bit lower. Right, if I built this like that and that's snapping straight isn't it yes but that's is that too low for what i want it to be not really and if i delete you and then that road windy and bendy in that's a bit better to where this kind of contours out also raising up as as quick as we can uh, get rid of you get rid of you right delete this and this so in the straight fashion that it is, it then drops down over a longer period. And right, I'm going to have to delete you because I don't like how you're trying to do that. Connect you through. That could work. As crazy as that now seems, smoothing all of this off so it's better gradients to build on that smoother dip allows more city growth and then we connect it back up <sighs> I mean we might most likely have to change it in the future when we set this line up as a connection but we've got an idea of how we want to work with it We'll see what happens. We just now got to allow the cities to kind of grow back together. So a few pennies made there. A few pennies made there. Uh, hopefully this line in general can go back to... I mean, it's made a lot more cash, but the expenses are also a lot more higher. So just got to give it time to uh, find itself again. That train's now on the way back with 64 people on board. I wonder how many people are going to be getting off here. Let's just wait for these two trains to make it to this area again. To this station in Bangalore. All right, here's the other one. 380,000 that one just made. And this one's just coming in right now. I can just see it in the tunnel. There we go. Oh, it made no money there. So everybody on board doesn't want to go to Bangalore. <laughs> That's crazy. So we should see people getting off here, right? That's crazy. Well, right, that train comes in. 31,000. You're joking me. You're telling me everyone wants to get off at the very end? Or is there an issue with the line? No, it's all set up as it should be. There's no way in this world everybody who got on the train right there wants to get off here. 
I mean, that's the big payday because of the distance that they've traveled. Wait, hold on. Something is not right here, is it? Something's not right. I'm hoping it's just a glitch with that train. But let me see if they get off here. Right, it might just be a glitch with that train. Where is that train? Because we had to kind of, we kind of messed up the route. So it's going back on itself one more time. So let's just keep our eye on this train. Because for some reason, that train does not want to unload itself. Very weirdly, it doesn't want to unload itself. So it might get everybody off here. Because that's where it was meant to go in the first place before I implemented this whole new route. Well, at least I'm hoping that's the case. I like how the road here is like almost central to the tunnel. That's pretty cool to see. So they should get all unloaded here, right? Yes. I think now the train has reset and now it will go back to its normal self. But I will keep my eyes peeled on that. Just in case that is a slight issue. But the other train's on the way down here. So let me just make sure and double check that this does what it's meant to do. Alright, here it comes in. Yes. Okay, I think it was just the um, the old issue with I've kind of messed up the routes here. He had to go back, go back up, and then come back down again to redo it to reset itself. I think that's what it was. Right, my next issue then is the initial backlog of people that were going to these stations have, has now pretty much gone. Which means there's not that many people to transport. But this line here, the commuter line, there's starting to be a lot more people here right now as we're now moving more people in general. So it could turn out, and probably will turn out, that it's a high-speed train route that has made vast amount of cash is now going to bottom out a little bit. But that's fine. Because I can pay for it if it does lose a little bit of money. Uh, and as long as we start bringing more people to these train stations, like, you know, we, we can then make start making some serious cash again. So we got to expand off them, which is not a problem. Uh, do these have many people waiting? Yeah. Can we upgrade the streetcars? So let me check the line, manage the vehicles, select them all and replace. We are utilizing the St. Petersburg streetcar here, which carries seven. Now we have this one here, which is the first one that doesn't contain an animal. Can carry 11 people. So let's replace all of them. So they're a bit faster. They pollute like you wouldn't believe. And that horse right there needs to speed up right now because we have this streetcar, which is so much quicker. Look at how much, how quick it's going to catch up this horse here. Right, that's doing 20 kilometers. I'm not sure what that horse is doing, but it's eating into it. It's eat Oh, now we've been caught up by that, which that does 17. There you go. It's right up its bahooty right now. But that will carry a few more people. Won't get through the backlogs as much as you think it would. But it will take a nice little chunk of people off. So, did many people get off here? A couple get off and a couple get on. But this line probably won't stay anyway. There's going to be a lot of configuration changes to this line as well. So, not to worry. Not to worry. Not to worry. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. We're now moving more people than ever before. Uh, are all my lines making money? They all are making money right now. The high-speed train line is on the way to start rivaling the, the cargo lines and the amount of people it's now shifting about, which is really good to see. 
We are going to have to uh, do something to do with the line one because there's, again, more people now wanting to travel on that line. So I think there is an ability to duplicate this train so we can increase the frequency. So that will help us out, but we'll have to also extend that line a bit more to make it make more financial sense. The streetcars will now hopefully start making a bit more cash because there's more people to now move about with the larger capacities. Everything at this moment in time is ticking along quite nice. But as complex as India is, it's going to take a long time to find our way and to fully make maximum money. But I think we're doing everything right so far. I think we're doing everything by the book. We're doing everything that we can right now to... Fully utilize what is going on. That train now heads back. We've only 26 on board. But we're going to have to start thinking about bringing more people to the stations. So there's more passengers waiting when a train does arrive. Right. We've just had our record income year on the previous year. And we made a grand total of 15.7 million. That's the most money we've made in a single year so far. Crazy to think it's that little. But it's understandable. You know, the era that we're in, the vehicles that we're using, pretty much tiny. <laughs> but we're getting somewhere. Bangalore, you're still growing. Uh, Coimbatore, uh, you're growing rapidly right now. That's really cool to see. We did do a lot of destruction over here in Tenevelli, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, big growth, but now plateauing again. Uh, did we do any destruction here? Was it any? Yeah, some of it was counted for that town. Okay. And um, places like Bellary that we kind of changed are still growing. Raichur, still growing. But not much is going to change until you start bringing the cargo that they require over here. But then again, stuff for that is going to need some serious change. But we've got plans. Plenty of things that we can do. Plenty of things that we can do. Guys, we're going to end it here. It's been pretty exciting. I'm really excited to see where this is going to progress moving forward. If you are excited, guys, please smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So goodbye.